Students, good morning to everybody. Last class, we had seen the classification of animals. In what criteria we have used our basis for classification, like grade of organization, sea lobe, symmetry, etc. Now, Carlos Linnaeus, he he was the father of taxonomy, and he classified the kingdom Animalia majorly into two. based upon the presence of notochord or backbone understand so on the basis of presence or absence of notochord or backbone the animals are classified into invertebrata and vertebrata invertebrata means those animals which are having no backbone is known as invertebrata which consists of eight phyla The animals which are having backbone or dorsal notochord, we are called as vertebrata, which includes five classes. The invertebrata, which includes phylum Porifera, Coelenterata, Platyhelminthes, Oscelminthes, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, and Echinodermata. The class uh, kingdom vertebrata includes five classes, namely. Pisces, amphibia, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Linnaeus classified the animal kingdom into two, and he named each and every animal as two names. That is, we are called as binomial nomenclature. Bi refers to two. To avoid confusion. Carlos Linnaeus named each and every animal into two names. The first one is called as generic name. The second name is called as species name. The generic name always starts with capital letter, and the species name always starts with small letter. For example, the name of man, common man, is Homo sapiens. Homo refers to generic name. Sapiens refers to specific name or species name. Then amoeba. Amoeba proteus. Amoeba is a generic name. Proteus is the species name. Then third one is red gram. Cajanus cajan. Cajanus is the generic name. Cajan is the specific name. Then a single genera having more than one species for example zonarum xanthocarpum solanum melangena and the solanum tuberosum so this is a single genus that is solanum belongs to the family solanaceae solanum xanthocarpum means datura umate solanum melangena brinjal katharikai solanum tuberosum potato urlekla so all over the world each and every animal having two names first one is a generic name and second one is a specific name frog periplaneta americana cat felis felis so we will see about the invertebrate phyla see one by one first phylum is phylum porifera four bearers which means the animals which are having a number of pores in their body in tamil it is called as kuliyudalikal otherwise known as kuliyudal kuliyudalikal first organized cellular grade of organization is nothing but the phylum porifera so the body is made up of number of cells we are called as multi cellular they are non motile mean sedentary which are attached on the substrate they don't move one place to another place a yeah, skeleton like a skeleton like that is made up of spicules is uh, backbone of act as a backbone of the four bearers so already told you cellular grade of organization means a number of cells are made up of the made by the animals the body having a number of portion perforations perforations means holes understand so the mouth is called as ostia ostia through which water enter into the body through which food molecules and oxygen can capture by the 
animal. Understand? Example, Saikan sponge. A water canal system that means the water enters through the astia and they come out through their pores. That is called as canal system. So they absorb wood, food and oxygen from the water. The reproduction may be two types, asexual and sexual. Then second phylum is Coelandireta, otherwise known as Nidaria because they are having the nematocyst or nidoplast, cotum cellular. So that is why the name is Coelandireta. Understand? So they are also multicellular having radial symmetry. You have already known what is the meaning of radial symmetry. First tissue grade organization. What is called a tissue? A group of cells made up of a tissue which are different structure and origin but doing same function we are called a tissue. First tissue grade organization exhibited in Celadireta. They are diploplastic having two germ layers ectoderm and mesoderm. So between these two there is a cavity that is called as gastrovascular cavity made up of coelho that is why the name coelantiran. Understand? Mouth is surrounded by tentacles. The tentacles which bears the nematocyst or nidoblast means cotum cellular which are having small poison, poisonous like substances. Then there is a Special character regarding with the Celandireta is nothing but polymorphism. That means the same species exhibits the morphological differentiated shape. Understand? So there will be a difference in structure and function. That is we are called as polymorphism. Morphologically differentiated into many numbers. The reproduction is exhibited by both asexual and sexual. Then third one is plotty helminthus, flat worms, tattai pudukkal. So they are bilaterally symmetrical. The body can be cut into two equal holes. We are known as bilateral symmetry. Triploplastic. What is called a triploplastic? That is the body wall having three germ layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. But no coelom is present. That's why we are called as these are acelomate animals. Most are parasite. There is no well-developed digestive system because they are, they are having suckers and hooks and mostly they are living in our intestine. So that is why they have observed already digested food. That is why they have no well developed um, digestive system. Then excretion is by specialized cells we are called as flame cells. Mostly these animals are hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite means both male and female sexual organs are present in the same animal. So the reproduction is takes place the animal by itself because both sex organs are present in the same animal we are called as hermaphrodite example liver flu tapworm understand okay thank you students